I cleaned my pineapple very well. When I'm making this dish, I scrub it. And sometimes there's a nice, um, it's like a very, very light mixture for cleaning vegetables and fruits, which you can sometimes get at the store. And if you can't, no problem. But just make sure, because we're using the outside, that you clean it very well. So I'm stuffing right here into this pitcher. Look at all of that. You've got so much flavor there. So I'm making what I call pineapple aid. And it is a frugal cook's dream. I'm just stuffing it in here. And I have two cloves and the half inch piece of ginger. And all you need to do is just grate this too. I find that if I'm straining stuff out, grating is a great way. And I've cleaned this ginger up nicely too, so I don't even have to peel that. There, that's good. Ginger and pineapple, beautiful combination that you find often in Hawaii, in the Caribbean. And then just a little bit of sugar, about a half a cup. And I have some water boiling on the stove over there. So I just come over here, fill this whole thing up with boiling water, which winds up being about four and a half cups. So make sure you really fill up your kettle when you boil it. And that's it. I am gonna take my spoon here and just kind of mix it up a few times because I have on the bottom that sugar. But as soon as the water gets down there, it'll dissolve it. A Couple times I'll do that. But basically that just sits at room temperature, I don't know, eight hours up to 24 hours, and then you strain it and you have the most refreshing, delicious, basically, it's not pineapple juice, that's why I call it pineapple aid. So, I have my pineapple aid. Look how beautiful this is. All I did was strain it so that I got all of the big pieces out and I chilled it and now it's perfect. And it is so nice with breakfasty and brunchy type of items.